Good morning. Today is Wednesday the 15th of February and it's a feria in the sixth week of ordinary time. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. First reading continues from the book of Genesis, chapter 8, 6 to 22. The end of forty days, Noah opened the porthole he had made in the ark, and he sent out the raven. This went off and flew back and forth until the waters dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove to see whether the waters were receding from the surface of the earth. The dove, finding nowhere to perch, returned to him in the ark for there was water over the whole surface of the earth. Putting out his hand, he took hold of it and brought it back into the ark with him. After waiting seven more days, he sent out the dove from the ark. In the evening the dove came back to him, and there it was with a new olive branch in its beak. So Noah realized that the waters were receding from the earth. After waiting seven more days, he sent out the dove, and now it returned to him no more. It was in the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month and on the first of the month, that the water dried up from the earth. Noah lifted back the hatch of the ark and looked out. The surface of the ground was dry. Noah built an altar for the Lord, and choosing from all the clean animals and all the clean birds, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. The Lord smelt the appeasing fragrance and said to himself, Never again will I curse the earth because of man, because his heart contrives evil from infancy. Never again will I strike down every living thing as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, sowing and reaping, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall cease no more. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8. 22 to 26. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethsaida, and some people brought him a blind man whom they begged him to touch. He took the blind man by the hand and led him to outside the village. Then putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on him. He asked, Can you see anything? The man who was beginning to see replied, I can see people. They look like trees to me, but they're walking about. Then he laid his hands on the man's eyes again, and he saw clearly. He was cured, and he could see everything plainly and distinctly. And Jesus sent him home, saying, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Beginning with the reading from Genesis. It's the story of the ark, Noah, the flood, and the the sending out by Noah towards the end of the flood to see if the waters were receding. And eventually the raven and then the dove don't come back. And he realises that the waters have received and he can come out of the ark. And the first thing he does is select, remember he took a pair of all animals, but seven uh, pairs of the clean animals that one could use for sacrifice. So he took uh, probably a sheep and a dove um, uh, and sacrificed them to say thank you to God for blessing him, helping him survive. Um, and we hear God saying, in spite of man's ability to get things wrong, never again will I do this. And I'm sure in the reading uh, next time um, there'll be reference to the bow in the clouds uh, as the proof that God will keep the covenant of never flooding the whole earth again. It's not a scientific story. There was never a flood that covered the whole earth like that, etc. It's trying to explain the present. That there is that we do see rainbows, and what, we do take their meaning. We do know that um, there are floods, but they're not total disasters. Though for those in, in Turkey at the moment, it must seem like this, the, there is a total disaster there from the earthquake. I suppose the beautiful bit is 
God's promise to be with his people and the people of all the, all the human race and the good example of Noah sacrificing as his first act, setting foot on, on dry land again after so many days out at sea. The gospel is the healing of the blind man near Bethsaida um, and it's a very simple story. Jesus uses his own spit um, and rubs it in the eyes of, of the blind man and step by step he's healed. And Get the famous phrase, I can see people but they look like logs walking and then a bit more clearly you can see distinctly and clearly. If you've ever had cataracts you'll know the difference between before and after and people hardly able to see properly and then the beautiful clear vision that comes after the operation. All of which leads us to thank God. The man was told not to go back to the village because people would have assumed the wrong thing about the Messiah. We must share the right thing about the Messiah that in this world, in spite of any disasters that happen, God's love is with us and we're called to show that love in the face of whatever happens today. Today is the important time. We can't control the past, we can't control the future, but today we can make a difference because we can make things happen, what we do and what we don't do. That, from Sunday's readings, if you remember, choose fire or water. You've got free will, you can make choices. Rejoice that we have choice. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, stay with us, Lord Jesus. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ, for he promised to be with his church until the end of time. With confidence in his promise, we pray, stay with us, Lord Jesus. In all things, we are victorious through your love. Take us into your care today. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Let the love of your Holy Spirit be in our hearts so that we may consecrate this day to you. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Help all Christians to answer your call. May they be salt to the earth and light to the world. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. We pray for all those in industry. May they work in harmony for justice and for the good of the whole community. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. And you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Shed your light on our hearts, Lord, so that walking continually in the way of your commandments, we may never be deceived or misled. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God come down on you and remain with you always, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and good day.